Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video we're back with our prototype series. If you're unfamiliar with what this series is about, it's where we take a look at products that are still in the development stages. Some are very close to completion, some are very, very far away from completion, but essentially the manufacturers are kind enough to let us take a look at the products, share some of the features with yourselves while they're still developing and refining their products. In this video we're going to be looking at a new product from Grit. Yup, that's the bag manufacturer. They've been quietly developing a brand new hockey glove that they're calling the Python. And in this video, we're going to be breaking down some of the details of that glove, what makes it unique. And if you're wondering, that's a bit of a strange direction for a bag manufacturer to go in making a hockey glove. So it's going to be interesting to see what they have to offer the hockey world in the line of gloves. So essentially, the new Python glove from Grit offers a patent coil construction, which allows the protection offered to wrap around the wrist and forearm from within the glove. Grit claims that this provides better protection for the wrist and unmatched flexibility. Grit believes that their patent coil construction distinguishes their gloves from others as it allows the cuff to move and flex and provides better protection to the wrist than other gloves with a shorter cuff. From the cuff evolves a coiled injected mold part which is the basis for support for the protective band which coils around your hand and wrist. For some time now Grit has been privately testing the Python gloves while making many revisions during its development stages. What we have in front of us is a glove from Grit that is very close to production in terms of the feel design and the finish. Now when we're talking about the aesthetics or the way that the glove looks in terms of the colour schemes, that's still something that's going to be open to debate. It would actually be great if we could get some feedback from you down below in the comments section if you want to give us suggestions on what you think the glove should look like, the colour schemes, where the colours should go, or if there's a glove that you've seen in the past that maybe isn't around or isn't produced anymore that you'd like to see the colour schemes brought back, let us know down below in the comments section about what you think these new gloves should look like. As a side note, this is one of two videos. We're introducing the product, giving you a little bit of insight into what Grit has been cooking up in their kitchen very quietly. Of course, there's gonna be a second video where we review these gloves, compare them to some of the other names that you're used to seeing on the ice, and give you a little bit of insight into how they stack up against other top spec gloves that we're typically used to seeing in our local hockey stores. Make sure that you follow us down below by clicking on all of our social links down below to Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Thumbs up the video, stay subscribed so you can stay up to date with all of the videos that we post. And if you wanna see more from this prototype series, I'll have a link floating about up top at the end of this video for you to click on and also down below in the video description. But thank you for watching, thank you Grit for making this video possible and I'll catch you in the next one. Thumbs up, subscribe and take care.